the same team we saw on Saturday takes on New Zealand and Australia, what can we expect? They would lose by 30 points <laughs> at least. It, it, it was that bad, you know. I, I think Rob's being a little bit kind to us, <laughs> to South so Africa. Optimistic. Glass half full. Glass half full. <laughs> yeah, I'm glass half empty. I thought <laughs> South Africa were, were rubbish. Let's be honest. I mean, they were absolutely pathetic. Argentina ranked 12th in in the world. South Africa ranked at number two. Mm. We've never lost to Argentina. We travel over there with a team that's, you know, nobody really missing out of through injury. Argentina, I'm pretty sure, missing a couple of players that didn't make it back from France. Um, they picked up injuries throughout the match. The ref, I thought, was very generous to South Africa. A lot of South Africans loitering offside, not rolling away. He sort of just, you know, instructed them to roll away rather than penalise them. He probably even felt bad for them. He, he <laughs> could roll it. You know, Argentina missed, I think, three kicks at, at poles, which I think totaled eight points. And they only lost by two points. South Africa didn't miss one kick at, at goal. We, we should really have lost that game. You know, if we were... if. Um, we were down that by that 28-16, whatever scoreline it was, against Australia or New Zealand. They certainly wouldn't have led us back into the game. They would have gone away, I'm pretty sure. We had to rely on our bench to come through. Whether those bench players now get rewarded with a start um, in the next match remains to be seen. I'm 100% sure Mourne Stein starts against Australia in the next match. Henri Pollard will, will not start another game in the Super in, in Rugby Championship this year, that's for sure. We're going to make a couple of changes. I'm not sure what we do about the front row. France Malherbe, who came on as a substitute and did a lot better, he's now out for the tournament. He picked up an injury late on in the match, so that's not ideal at all. Um, we're crying out, I think, for Bucky's Boat and Victor Matfield to come back. You know, then we look at Ivan Itzbeth, who we, we had been crying out to come back. He was pretty anonymous, I thought, in the game. Jean Smith, terribly disappointing. You know, you take out the emotion of him having not played for South Africa for four years. He talked about um, playing at the World Cup next year. He's had five or six ankle operations. He was absolutely nowhere in that game. I don't think the commentators m mentioned his name once. You know, our best player in the starting 15 was Flo Lo again. You know, he plays overseas. It opens up that whole can of worms. Should we be picking overseas players when Australia and New Zealand don't? But we had to rely on him. We, we would have lost that game, I think, if it wasn't for him. Marcel Kotsia, he's only really in that team thanks to an injury to Willem Alberts, but he's put up his hand in both the, the matches to date. So he deserves, I think, a start, at least a place on the bench for sure, even if Alberts comes back. So lots of things to ponder for Coach Heineke Mayer. Luckily, there is no match this weekend. There's a two-week break for teams to sort of get over a couple of injuries and niggles. We head off to Perth. Again, it should be remembered, South Africa had the easiest draw in this tournament out of all the teams, starting against the weaker, weakest team, banking those points, which are all important. Then we head off to Perth, which is as much an Australian city as I think Cape Town is. So, you know, it's not a hotbed of, of rugby in Australia. We don't play New Zealand at Eden Park, sort of the fortress which Australia had to do taking them on in, in Wellington so and then we end up at home you know when you know what you have to do in the remainder of the tournament to win the best way to do it is to, is to finish at home so everything is stacked in our favor but I still don't see us winning this tournament even though we're leading the, the tournament uh, log by a single point at, at, after two matches out of the six. Rob what kind of changes would you make? I think uh, for me, Jen, the, the key w would really be to, to assess the fitness of Victor Matfield. Uh, I think that he's a very, very crucial element, in, a sort of a calming element in, in the tight five. The box need him back badly. He's been injured for the first two games against Argentina. Um, supposedly, he, he's, he's going to be back in the mix uh, going forward. Um, you have to manage a 37-year-old pretty, pretty carefully. But uh, that said, I think they need him back just for his, the sort of calmness he brings, the sort of the management of the line-out, which I thought was a, a, a particularly uh, disappointing aspect considering the box had picked a, what I thought looked like a really really good line out combination some real tall timber in there with you know Joan Smith, Lourdes de Jache, Eben Etzebeth, Dwayne Vermeule and also an outstanding line out forward and he was he and Flo Lo uh, between them were the two best box forwards on the day again I thought but uh, I think they need Matfield in there the one the one um, sort of rather um, worrying fact is that Matfield is not a renowned scrummager and we need we need scrummagers uh, you know like there's no tomorrow we desperately need some some good scrummagers that whole tight five has got a work together but Matfield has got massive experience the box have scrummed well uh, before with, with, with Victor in it so I'm not I'm in no way suggesting that he's a weak link in scrummaging terms but he's not the heaviest lock in the world and um, you know the, the, the box the box tight five as a scrummaging pack at the moment looks incredibly vulnerable and how they structure that uh, for that first game against Australia in, in Perth is going to be a, a massive um, sort of indicator of whether the box will be able to be competitive or not because let's not forget Australia not the greatest scrummaging team in the world so maybe things will get back onto a sort of onto level level turf